Welcome back to Finch Farming. Right, we're leaving off in the same month as the last time. We're uh, starting off in the um, wheat field. I've um, done a bit of clearing up in the yard. And the field I purchased in the last episode, well, I've sold that field and brought the field the other end of that block because I brought the wrong one I didn't want the one on the left side I wanted the one on the right side because it had more stones in it so I've um, sold that and brought the, that one so the Eurus is in the field rock picking as we speak so we're going to get this uh, field harvest then we're going to rest. And then I'm going to bow. Well, I'll make bow. Actually, I'm going to bow in this episode, uh, in this this month. Get bowed and get transported to the chicken coop. Actually, with our new John Deere bow, what we purchased. So that's another 5,417 litres for the chickens. Will this make any difference? 18, 18 litres. Right, let's get this to the uh, trailer, get this unloaded. We'll see if the uh, chickens want any. Better drop that down so I don't hit the auger. I was going to wash it, but I may do a contract before rest. 
because I want to uh, get a get a production, get that sugar beet in there. It's not the sugar mill; it's uh, the red, the red barn from the red barn pack. It does multiple things. It's 50 50 k. So I'd like to uh, purchase that in this episode. We can take care of some flowers there. A canola wasp growing, that, they can go there. The sugar can go in it. Wheat, oaks, barley, sorghum can go in there to make um, flour. But yeah, we'll go and um, top the chickens up. Give them what they need, if they need any, that is. I did feed them in the last episode, but let me just give them this this pallet, 700 litres. Yeah, oh, wrong button. So this can be put in the silo. I'm keeping the Ram Valor just because I've brought a new one. I don't mean I'm gonna sell that one. If we make silage bowels, we'll use the small um, baler. Right. I'll just leave this here. I did put the baler. I thought about that baler was in the shed, but obviously it won't, but I put the John Deere baler away in the shed. But we were so lucky this was in the um oh, it's gonna need twine. Nope, I'm gonna take that off. We got a toolbox. Brought that in the previous episode as well. Alright, so I've got one pass left. So I made two and a quart bow. There's loads better than making five or six little round ones. Makes it easy clearing the field. I don't know if you can unload a partial bow with the unload early mod with a round uh, square baler. I've never tried it. Let's give it a go now. Yeah, just a one. Oh no, you can. So I'll get this back, put this back in the shed. Uh, 
we'll take the trailer with us. I won't take them to the uh, chicken coops today. There's no point taking three bows. Or is there? Um. That's 22,000 litres. Just under 24,000 litres. Let's check on the Aris. He's um, near enough full. He's missed bits as well. Right, let's just get this up to 100%. He's missed loads. Right, we go get him unloaded and then I'll chuck it. I'll chuck it back on the uh, worker and then I'll run the straw off camera and I'll, I'll come back to you guys when we're in December. Yeah, yeah. I'll come back to you when we're in December. Speak to you in a sec. All right. I haven't been to the chicken coops yet. We're gonna do these fertilizing contracts. Fill 47, 124, 187, 203. Well, we're gonna start off with these three and then we're gonna do these two here and we may, we may do some cultivating. One four five. Oh, that's one four three. That's Marfield. One four five. Ah, oh, one four six. Sorry. Yeah, one four six. Is that one? We could potentially do that as well. Right. Let's switch that off. Jump in the Deutzfahr. We'll pick the sprayer up. Unload that there. Right, where's my front load for this? Where did I put it? Right, I see you guys over field 47. I'm going to go look for my front loader and get the pallet forward off the fair. So I see you guys at one four, no, field 47. All oh, right, 94%. This field's uh, been quite difficult. Cause I can't see where I'm going. I'm sorry to keep uh, going onto the map. I've been alright if they show me on the little map on the left screen there, but it don't. So hopefully I'll just run back down to the uh, RBCs and hopefully 
we're, we're complete the contract. But yeah, I didn't think this uh, field was going to be that big. We're going to complete it. Nope. Keeps uh, changing. Yeah, there you go. There you go. 10% discount from this. The Eurus is in my way. Cheers, mate. And you heard of Rebet Reverse? Can I sneak in here and push this around? Yes. Of course, we can. Right. Let's get to field 47 now. I think it's right there in the bottom of this track it was right. All right. Well, that's the three contracts cleared. Let's um, collect their money. Thank you very much. All right, let's go back in the contracts. Down the fertilizing, we're going to do two, uh, two, 203 and 204. Right, I'll see you at field 203 and 204. I'll go buy another, another IBC of fertilizer, so I'll see you at 203. Oh right, here we are. That was hard work, that was. Right, come on. Drop you off there. Take this map off. And these two skinny fields here. Do this one in one pass. Don't need to time lapse this one because these will take seconds to do. Easy money, easy money. That's one. There we go, look. Let's collect the money. Right, let's get connected back to the front loader. We'll head back to the farm. 
the fit on his way to the uh, chicken coop. So when I get back to the farm, I'll go to the fit, put the straw in the uh, in the co chicken coops in the manure production. You know what? We'll leave these here. We'll come pick the, the two IBCs up with the fair. Yeah, we come pick them up with the fair. The fair's got his front loader on. So we'll send this on the worker. create a job you can go to field 554 you can go there look. go on in my mate off you go off you go that's it good lad right he's still there we'll get this back to the yard He's missed a few rocks, so we'll just quickly pick these up. Right, I'll get this set off camera. I'll get the fit and the fertilizer back back to the farm, and then I'll see you lot in December. All right. So I didn't move to December. I'm going to cultivate that field just there and then we're going to buy it right, just turn them lights off what field's this? Is there a contract for 155? 155. No, there's not. So jump in the arse. No. Not the Aris. Deutz. We'll go and get connected to the uh, cultivator. Oh, we could have put that in there actually. This is where I'm going to start keeping the uh, seed and fertilizer and liquid fertilizer and herbs I don't unfold it. can go over to here like so yeah we're going to cultivate that field and then we're going to buy it if we've got the money in December we're going to take a loan that plough can be sold I'm going to move all the uh, Lord Moan stuff over to the, the sheds over here, so the balers, the windrow, and the tether. They can be stored in that shed there, possibly the bolter as well. 
but we'll get 10% off this field. Let's see how much it's worth before we uh, fill 146. It's 26k. Let's make sure that contracts definitely need that one. Hundred and ninety one. I mean filled ninety one. And that can be cancelled. I think I picked the wrong field. Yeah, one four six it's supposed to be. Now we've got fine field ninety two. Seven. What are you flashing? Yeah. Field ninety one. I got a feeling that's going to be a big field. Field ninety one. I know, it's quite small. But it's right up near the chicken coop. That must be the biggest field on the map. So yeah. I'm going to buzz on to get these cultivating jobs done. And then once we've uh, done fill 91, I'll collect the money. And then we'll rest. First time I've seen a boat in one of these lakes. Now there has to be a collectible in one of these, but in this boat, there has to be. You caught anything, mate? Oh, I can't get in there. Right, let's get out. Um thought there would have been one there. Oh, that's disheartened me. Ah, oh, that's disheartened me. You got a collectible hard in there, though? Nope. Well. Ah. Oh. I really thought I was going to find a collectible then. Damn it. And that's the first boat I've seen on one of them lakes. Oh well, let's get to field 91. Let's get it cultivated. And let's get into December. <laughs>
We'll collect their money. And then we'll create a job. Go to. And then the worker can. Uh, he can drive back when he, feel like, when he feels like it. There you blocked, mate. There you go. Right, let's go and rest. So in December, we're going to take a loan. I'm going to purchase a lorry, a trailer, and a new production. See you in um, Welcome December. Welcome to December, everybody. Right, we're down here at the store. Because... I want to buy a lorry. And it's man 19 by 322. I've looked online and this was built in 1992. So I'll say eight, late 80s is vintage, but I'm going to go with 1992 because I really want to use it. But there's a, a nice, another nice little trick about this unit I want to buy. Uh, this is going to cost eighty-five thousand. Yeah, eighty-five thousand. So we're gonna go with that. No, what was it? This. What colour should we have it? Main colour. Matthew Ferguson red. It up to eight nine thousand two hundred. So we're going to buy that. That leaves us with sixty three thousand. This is what we're going to transport our new air pallets that we're around with. Can't, believe, can't remember how I've just done that. Back doors. Well, this is our new uh, pallet transportation. So let's get back to the farm. Oh, yeah, let's get back to the farm. This is finished. 
it passes for vintage in my book. Let me know in the comments. Do you think a 1992 man seven and a half tonner passes a vintage vehicle? Let me know. Fancy loading that with a tractor and front loader. What have we got here? We've got 11,000 litres of apples. Right, let's go over to the farm. Let's jump in, let's forward time a bit. Put that down times one. Right, we're only going to put this production. Um, let's see if it fits where I wanted it to go in the first. Right here, right in this corner. Right, let's pack there. Let's go and just construction. That's better. Right. Productions. Where is it? Where's the big ones? Oh, here they are. Yeah, why not just there, I reckon. And which one to have? Oh, I think that one fits better. Right. Floating. And well, I'm going to add 25k back in because that's what we've lost. Right.
coming here again, Productions. Where is it? Let's use some of the new textures. Get rid of that tree. Potentially that tree might have to go as well. We'll just delete it. Right, let's go back in the uh, painting. Hopefully, hopefully that will be fine. Let's take a look. As you can see, it takes potatoes. That could be deactivated. You can make French fries, premium potatoes, spaghetti, tomato sauce, mixed salad, oak drink, oak meal, popcorn, soybean drink, strawberry ice cream, wheat flour, barley flour, sugar, sugar beet sugar, bread, cake, raisin, grape juice, sunflower oil, canola, olive oil, cereal, butter and cheese. And what you can put in here is potatoes, flour, tomatoes, lettuce, oats, corn, soybeans, milk, strawberries, wheat, barley, sugar beet, sugar, eggs, butter, grapes, some flowers. Oh. Why do you put grapes in here for then? 
to make raisins. Why do I put grapes in there? Oh, grape juice. I thought that was going to make the apple juice as well. What's the apple juice one? Um, productions. Oh, that's a tomato. I thought that was an apple. You could have little ones to do all the things, but here's the apple one. Ten fairs, isn't it? So I'm taking. bit more of the field. Buzz, right, decorations, paint, did we use them tiles? Yeah, we did. Right, let's join all this up. These are the new textures with the map, which are quite smart. Here's our new production. And then we got our apple juice. So we'll put our apples and the grapes in this production here. And not put the grapes into that one there. And this will give us apple juice, grape juice and raisins. Now this one, we'll put the sugar beet in there, the canola, the sunflower oil, the sunflower, what else, the lettuce, the tomato, tomato, and the potatoes. I think I activated the tomato, um, potatoes. But yeah, we're going to jump in the fair. Yeah, jump in the fair. Pallet fork off. Wait, whatever happened there, mate? Whatever's going on? Oh, 
don't know why. We got a way on. Actually, I want that on the back. Gonna shut these doors. Open back there. Yep. Move this out of the way. Right, so just got to go and get the last, I think it was about just under 6,000 litres left. And that's all we're putting in the uh, production today. We're going to have to take a look at forklifts in a minute. Because I don't want to be fan I don't fancy loading the lorry up with a front loader. There we go. 
Gotta uh, make sure we're getting this uh, rest of this. Especially in that corner. I may have to buy a hand shovel. build mode. Here we go. Shovel. Twenty-six quid. I don't want to buy two. See how much is on the floor. I swore that was just under thousand six, just under six thousand meters. Sure of it. Two trailer falls and six thousand, just under six thousand. There ain't no more there. None more out there. What's this one? What's this? 800 litres.
There we go. Right. Come on. Where are you? Lost it now. Must be in the bucket. Well, it's disappeared, so it has to be in the bucket. Get this in this trailer. Oh yeah, there it is. Look, I can see it. Come on, mate. You never know. I might need you again one day. No, I will just put you at the back here, where you're safe. Last job of the day is uh, mowing that grass. We'll ted it and row it and bow it in the next episode. But yeah. A new production. Or two new protectors. Two new productions actually, because we've got the grape and apple juice factory there, and then we've got the red, red barn. Did I activate the sugar? Yep, I did. So let's get back to the farm. Pack the trailer up and then we'll come and cut this grass. Right. So I went on and done the uh, tedden. Right, let's go around the headland once. I hope I can uh, get this off this path. Looking good. So we're going to be making square bows in the next episode.
up here, I'll say we're probably going to end up with about 15 to 16 barrels off this, square barrels. Maybe that's a bit optimistic. But I think we should get a good amount. Oh, I'm just going to get it done. cut these grass fields we'll do silage the horse won't eat all this hay And that's the row and done. Right, we'll take this back to the farm, get this put in the shed. We'll bring the brow baler over here, but no, I'm not baling it. Oh, well, a bit there. I'm going to use the um, ram baler, the horses bows. Let's turn the lights off. I am the miscellaneous. get this four lift carton of old probably mm. late 80s early 90s but this is what goes on the back of that lorry in that wicked 37,000 37,000, 37,000. Do you know what? 
I really want it. Let's take another loan. Which gonna take four thousand. Three years. So that's my monthly repayment up to eight thousand four hundred and seventy four pounds. But it'd be worth it. Oh yeah, I love this lorry. It's mint. Let me know in the comments if you like this lorry or not. I think it's cool. And with the forklift, what comes with it? It's a, uh, it's brilliant. When you always want to go around and pick pallets up around the map. You gotta have different forklifts. Or when you go to the store, you need a forklift to put the stuff on the uh, on the trailer or the lorry. But yeah, this is well smart. unfold it oh yeah look fold up That is cool. That is smart. That is proper cool. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. I think this, um, this series is going quite well now. I'm starting to enjoy playing it. So if you if you guys enjoy it, hit that like button and give me some comments in the in the comment section. Let me know what you think of it. Until next time, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.